All right, hey guys, what's up? hey, we're back to doing these again. It's been a while. Hey, so today we, so today we're taking a look at a uh, Figma uh, UMP45 from Ghost Frontline. Hey, yeah, I don't do Figmas anymore that much because I'm not really interested in Figma. But hey, but I was super interested because Ghost Frontline is the only Gacha game I legit play right now, with the exception of Fire Emblem Heroes. Because hey, this Gacha is hell. Once you get to a Gacha game, you don't get out of it. It's an endless hell. Hey, so we take a look at the best girls. This is my uh, girl's Frontline waifu, by the way. Her and her sister are the best girls in Ghost Frontline. <laughs> Don't at me with those other girls, all right? It's like WA four or five. Fuck, but was it the what's the what's the Sundari one with the with the long hair? I forgot her name. WA or wherever wherever her name is. Been a while. It's been a while. I don't. I haven't. I haven't really been messing around with girls probably. But from what I played, UMP forty five was my favorite girl. So hey, so for let's take a look at the box. Hey, we got this nice yellow color, yellow and black. I mean, I think we always had black, but whatever. But this nice yellow box to represent her color. So first for the box, here's her in the figure. Uh, Figma four hundred fifty seven. God, they're at, God, there's so much goddamn Figmas. Jesus Christ. UMP45. There's the Ghost Frontline logo. Side of the box, we get a cool shot of her. Back of the box, hey, look, here she is. Here's what, here's some poses you could do. Face scope. I mean, additional face plates and all that stuff. Side of the box, here's another pose. Top of the box. Same thing, just another pose. So pretty much standard Figma boxes, I believe. I don't know. I haven't fucked around with Figma in like over a year or so. Or like the only Figma lines I'm into right now is the. It's the. Uh, Heavily Armed High School Girls series, but I think that's not gonna be released for. I don't think another film for that's gonna be released for a while. All right, enough about. It. Let's actually continue. Let's actually go and look at what else. What else comes with uh, Figma UMP45? All right, so here is UMP45 for self right out of the box. And before we actually take a look at the actual figure, you guys always know how we do on this channel. If you guys did not know how we do on this channel, we always take a look at the accessories she comes with. First, and she comes with a few accessories, not a lot. So first off, we have her aforementioned tech. Uh, to uh, uh, gun that she named. Oh fuck! Damn it, the magazine fell off. Hold on. Oh, I don't want. Oh no, it's not supposed to happen. All right, her actual UMP45 gun. It looks nice. It's pretty good. It's pretty much it's just a giant bit of plastic, bit of black. There's not a lot of details. I mean, if you look, I mean, you can actually the details on the gun, so that's nice. But it's just uh, a, a, a one big plastic brick. Also nice. I like how this thing, the handle. Where the fuck this is? Just I, I don't know. Fucking guns. All right. All right. I like how this thing can fold, so that's pretty nice. That's cool. So you can, that's good. so you can you can pose this around. That's cool. All right, that's it. That's it for the gun. That's it. That's the only accessory she she actually comes with. It's her gun. She doesn't come with anything else. This she comes with two alternate face scope. This is her resting. Like okay, I'm I'm done. I'm done face. I I don't, I don't know. I don't know what expression you want to call this. Like all right, cool, cool. This is this is my expression. And she just comes with a matter face that's. Pretty much the exact same thing. These are pretty much the same facial expressions. I don't know if it's actually inten intentional or not. Hold on. Hold on. Is this actually supposed to be intentional? Am I supposed to have these two same face? I guess so, apparently. That's what the back of the box says. Back box has these that's the exact same facial expression. So I can't tell what's the difference, honestly. I'm looking at them. I can't see it. I, I don't know if I'm missing something or not. I'm not sure if these are just backup face plates. If I lose, if I lose one or the other. But you get two of the exact same face plates, so that's a thing. That's the thing, apparently. And next, uh, of course, like every figure, she comes with good hands. So she comes with, she comes with some gun holding hands, some jazz hands, which are the best hands in any figure. If you collect figures, it's those, it's those jazz hands. She gets a, a pointing hands, like, hey, look, I'm pointing. Oh wait, no, these are trigger hands. Never mind, these are actually trigger hands. Probably, I just realized that these aren't pointing hands. These are actually trigger hands for her, for her to pose with. Then she just comes with a, with a gun holding hand. So. It has to hold the barrel, so that's good. So there you go. She she gets a she has some she has some hands. So pretty much it. Uh, lack of accessory. There's not really much you could have done with that. So that's pretty much it. So let's actually take a look at the actual figure now. All right. So here is UMP45. So let's actually take a look at the actual figure now. So first off, hey, she looks cool. I like her sculpting. It looks everything. I like the details and the folds. Her crease. Where the fuck of her jacket? That that's pretty good. I like that. So first off, head. She can turn. That's good. Her ponytail thing is on its own joint, so you can actually. Re oh fuck! It fell off. Okay, it was not supposed to do that. All right, but hey, this is his own joint. It's just one big piece of pie. So you can technically move this around. I like that. That's good. Her hair is her. These aren't really twin tails. I don't know what you want to call this part. These are on their own joints, so you can move these around. Up. You don't have a lot of range. You can literally just move them up and down. You can't move. You can't really move them from side to side. Oh god, they're pointy as fuck too. Jesus Christ. These her hairs are really pointy. So. There we go. You can move her hair around. That's cool. So that's good. You can do some. I don't know what the fuck this is. This looks like a. This looks like a video game villain now. All of a sudden, Jesus Christ. These are her. Uh, these are the hands of, of, of a video game villain monster. So all right. So we're just gonna put that back. Doop doop 
put her hair down. So there you go. Her head, yeah, looks pretty good. Uh, she has eyes. I mean, that's a plus in, on any figure, I guess. Uh, head rotates around. She can look up and down. Her jacket, her jacket looks really cool and everything. So it gets all the details. These are, these are just sol solid plastic bits. They're not on joints or anything. So these are just tape there. I mean, just stuck on her jacket. So her magazine holder or pocket pouch or what the fuck she puts in her fanny pack or arms hey look she can fold her arms she can move her elbows that's good that's good for any figure shoulders yeah she has range uh, that's pretty good uh, hands her hands rotate around like any figma honestly yeah so hey hey hand articulation is good uh waist yeah she could turn she has no upper upper joint for her torso that's weird so she just has a waist joint that she can move around with uh, her pants are cool she has these I never realized she had these weird. What the fuck are these? What the fuck has she always had these? I I I I, I rolled for her and I never realized she has this weird robot thing. Has she always had this? I pretty she has this robot leg thingy. Okay, it doesn't get in the way of her movement. That's good. This is on its own. This is on this. Where the fuck this robot brace thing is? It's all is a separate piece. So that's good. I thought it was connected for a second, but yeah, she can move her knees and she can do, she can pass the Figma test of, or any figure test of kicking a circle ball. So that's good. Uh, uh, foot. Yeah. She moves around. She can rotate her feet. That's, that's cool. Her pants looks cool. I like, I like her design. She's really nice. There you go. I mean, same thing on her other leg. She can move her knees and, and kick a soccer ball. So there you go. She looks really nice. And, and, and design wise, I, I like her design. Her design is very cool. She's wearing two skirts. That seems really that seems really inconvenient to wear, honestly. If you think about it, there's no reason for you you need that many skirts. And she can stand up, so that's pretty good. I mean, that's pretty much it for her figure. All right, so yeah, what are my final thoughts about Figma uh, 457 UMP9 from Girls Frontline? Um, I like her. I like her design. Her she has a really cool design. Uh, one of my favorite character aesthetic is high school uniforms with just like armor, like little armor armor bits, military stuff. Right, like that's why I'm a big fan of the whole girls front. I mean, not girls front line, the whole heavily armed high school girl uh, line. So I like that. I like that character design. It's, it's pretty cool. I like her design. This is my favorite character from Girls Front Line. So I have an unintentional bias there already. She's the best girl in the entire game, anyway, of all of all the other gun girls. Uh, I think she's the only Figma of Girls Front Line announced. Oh, actually, no, hold on. I think they announced her sister, UMP. U UMP9 has been announced, if I remember correctly. I think they show off a part. I don't think any other figures. From the from the series has been announced yet for Figma, but well, I, I think she looks she looks cool. They re, they capture her designs pretty well. I like her jacket. I like how they pay attention to all the folds and everything. So it's not like just like one solid bit. Like you can actually feel like jacket folds. So that's pretty cool. I like that they did that or and everything. So that's pretty good. I like so I, I never really had that weird armor thing on her leg. Apparently that's been a thing this entire time. And I never noticed. So that's a thing. Uh, Looks cool. Um, she only comes with one accessory, just her guns. I mean, I don't know what else they could have given her. So, lack of accessories is pretty much a thing. Really, uh, there's nothing you can really do about that. Um, the only problem I have is I find that her magazine on her gun actually falls off quite often. So, that's something to note because it's really small and it might get lost. So, hey, if you buy her, watch out for that. Pay attention to that. Don't lose that little magazine bit, you know, because that would be a pretty bad thing. I like that her hair are on all separate joints. So that's pretty good. So, they don't get in the way. When you pose with her, her design is cool and everything. Um, should you pick her up? Uh, I like her. I mean, if you're a fan of Ghost Frontline, I mean, definitely pick her up. She's better than WA, that's for sure. Fuck WA, honestly. Um, yeah, but she, yeah, she's a cool design. I like her. Uh, I think she's worth the pick up, in my opinion. Uh, bias aside, her design is really cool. Like I said, she has a really good character design. It's really simple, honestly, if you think about it. Like it's just a a high school outfit with a jacket and and I guess this weird armor leg fucking thing that's been there this entire time. She has a pretty simple color scheme of, of yellow and black. Pretty simple color scheme, so that's pretty much it. Nothing else to really say about her. I think she's definitely worth the pickup and everything, so that's that's cool. She's she's a cool character. I, I like, like I said, she has a cool jacket. It's nice. There's, 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 there's some stuff with it. You know, I like, I like how there has this little white trim. I never realized that. I just realized that. So that yeah, but uh, yeah, pretty good character design. Um, definitely worth it in my opinion. Without with bias aside, cool figure, best girl. I'm just repeating stuff I already said because I don't know what else to say at this point. Yeah, just sort of a pretty nice, solid figure. Like I said, the only problem I have is just her, her, um, her magazine on the gun. Really, that's and that's really it. But everything else about her figure is pretty much is pretty cool. 
Um, I guess that's really it, I, ought to, I really have to say. Um, stay tuned after for some weird, creepy anime pictures, and I'll see you guys next time. Whenever UMP9 comes out, I guess. Or wherever our Figma comes out, if I ever do more Figmas. Hey, what's the next heavily hi armed high school girl figure coming out? I, I, need, I need the next one to come out already. Alright, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, okay, thanks, bye.